Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bold and Beautiful podcast, where we are discussing all things bold and beautiful. I'm your host, Amanda, and this week I've decided to do a birthday mini-sode. Because Thursday was my birthday, and my husband had multiple surprises for me that have kept me happy, but also very busy. So I don't have time to do a full episode this week, but I did not want to leave you guys hanging. So I decided to do a quick episode and go over everything that happened this week. Before we get started, if you want to get in touch with me or you want to donate to the podcast, please visit visit my website at theboldandbeautifulpodcast.com. Okay, enough of the chit-chat. Let's get to the recap. Monday, September 17th. The show opens with Bill and Brooke and the aftermath of the kiss. And Brooke is really mad and she's about to leave. And then Bill stops her and he apologizes and he begs her not to be mad And um, he promises it will never happen again. And, of course, Brooke feels sorry for Bill. And she agrees to keep helping him. She just doesn't agree with Katie on this. So she tells him that she won't give up. Over at Forrester Creations, Eric is considering that because of Ridge's decision, Thorne may be out of a job. But even more important, he may feel slighted. So Ridge assures Eric that Thorne is not upset about his decision to choose the lingerie line and that he's been really busy helping Katie with the custody battle. So over at Katie's house, Thorne proposes and at first she's hesitant. She wants to make sure he's doing this for the right reasons because the timing seems like maybe he's doing this to make Katie's case stronger And I don't think she really liked that, but they discussed it. They went back and forth. He promises that's not it. And Katie finally agrees. She finally says yes, that she'll marry him. So, of course, he's happy. Back at Forrester Creations, Brooke has returned to work. And um, she comes into the executive office. And Eric wants Ridge to call Thorne to make sure that he's not upset. So, Ridge calls Thorne and Thorne answers and he... He tells them all about the engagement. Everyone's happy and congratulating them because Ridge puts them on speakerphone and everyone's all happy except Brooke. She looks suspicious. So after they hang up, this causes an argument or a very heated discussion between Brooke and Ridge. And they're clearly on two different sides. So after Eric and Quinn leave the office, their discussion gets very heated. Ridge cannot comprehend how Brooke could be on Bill's side. Okay, so that brings us into Tuesday, September the 18th. We start out at Katie's house, and Thorne and Katie are talking to Will. And they're explaining that they're going to get married, and Thorne's going to move in, and they want to know how Will feels about it. And Will is totally happy and cool with this, but he does want to make sure that he will still get to see his dad, Bill. And they assure him that he will, that this will not change anything, except he's going to have an extra person in his life, a stepdad. So over at Spencer Publications in Bill's office, Justin is disappointed that Brooke couldn't get through to Katie. But Bill assures him that Brooke will keep trying. And then Bill also informs Justin that he is going over to Katie's to see Will. Back over at Forrester Creations, Ridge and Brooke are still arguing. They just don't see eye to eye on on this custody battle. And Ridge asks Brooke if they can try to work this out. And then we find out that Ridge has been subpoenaed to testify on Katie's behalf, which upsets Brooke. In the hallway, Steffi runs in to Sally, and she informs Sally that she loved her designs, and she's probably going to put them into production. Well, of course, this thrills Sally. And then they both walk into the side office, and Xander is there wearing nothing but boxers. And Steffi and Sally both like what they see, and right on the spot, Steffi offers Xander a modeling job. And of course, he says yes. Then Steffi 
tells Sally that she's going to be on the team as a designer. And Xander and Sally are both stunned. So then Steffi leaves and she walks across the hall and she walks in on Ridge and Brooke's argument. And to Ridge's horror, Steffi agrees with Brooke and takes her side. Steffi doesn't think that Bill should lose his his son. This absolutely infuriates Ridge. He's so mad that he breaks the pencil he had in his hand. And he and he says that he he just can't believe them. Like he cannot believe these two. And then he tells Steffi, I can't believe after everything Bill has done to you that you would be on his side. Then we go back over to Katie's and Bill shows up and Katie and Thorne tell him the good news right in front of Will. So Bill asks Will how he feels about it. And Will says that he's fine with it because he likes Thorne. And then this makes Bill even more angry. So Will goes upstairs and Bill informs Katie and Thorne that this little marriage stunt is not going to help Katie's case. And that he is willing to fight for Will. And he is not going to take this lying down. So that brings us into Wednesday, September the 19th. We're at Forrester Creations upstairs in the executive office and Katie and Thorne officially announced their engagement to everyone. Eric, Quinn, Pam, Charlie, Ridge, and Brooke are all there. But Katie notices that Brooke doesn't seem that happy for her. So Ridge tells Katie and Thorne not to worry, everything will be fine. And then he excuses himself and he leaves the office. Everyone else leaves except for Brooke and Katie. Katie stays back to talk to Brooke because she noticed that Brooke seemed not that excited and not that happy for her. Brooke tries desperately one more time to change Katie's mind. She tries to get through to Katie for Bill and for Will. Katie definitely hears her and you could tell she kind of starts having doubts. So meanwhile, downstairs in the showroom... Hope overhears Steffi talking to Xander and Sally, and this really upsets Hope. She wants to talk to Steffi and Sally in private, so they go upstairs to the side office. Basically, Hope is upset because she feels disrespected. She feels Steffi could have at least spoken to her first before she took people from her team. And then Sally steps in and assures both of them that she will work really hard and that they can trust her. Because Hope is not so sure. Then Steffi tells Sally to leave. But before she leaves she warns her that their conversation is private. And if she hears any rumors about it she will immediately be fired. So Sally leaves. And Steffi says go ahead give me your best shot. So Hope explains that. She should have at least been consulted and that she doesn't appreciate Steffi's attitude. And Steffi says, we have a strange relationship. In a perfect world, we probably would have sat down and discussed it. But this is not a perfect world and this is not a competition. And Hope says she knows because Steffi already won when she teamed up with Daddy. And Steffi resents that remark. And then Hope informs her that she resents the way she's being treated. But it's okay, because Steffi's true colors are showing. And she gets it. She knows where they stand. Steffi is out to get her, and they both know why. I totally agree with that, by the way. Downstairs, Zoe runs into Xander, and she congratulates him on his new job. Then she starts flirting with him and touching him, and she is desperately trying to use her sexuality to steal Xander from Emma. And it's working because they kiss again. And I feel sorry for Emma. Now we head over to Bill's office. And Bill is pacing like a caged animal. He is furious. He explains to Justin what happened at Katie's. And Justin is very upset. And he tells Bill that this will help Katie's case. Bill looks like he's about to lose it. And then, to make matters worse, Ridge walks into his office, all smug, obviously there to gloat. So Ridge taunts Bill over and over, but it doesn't work. 
Bill lets Ridge know that he is not going to punch him because that would just help Katie's case. So, very rudely, Bill lets Ridge know that he will not give up and, the, and, and that he has a surprise for all of them. And that he always wins. And this obviously worries Ridge a little bit. And then that brings us into Thursday. The show opens with Bill and Ridge's conversation. And we're continuing from yesterday. Bill gives Ridge a message to bring back to Katie and Thorne. He will fight to the death for Will. And there is no way he's losing his son. And then Ridge says, well, we'll see. And he leaves. Back at Forrester Creations, Katie is upset that Brooke is taking Bill's side. And she tells Thorne this much. Thorne reassures her that they are doing the right thing. And not to be upset with Brooke because Brooke has a really big heart. Then Carter walks into the office. He has come to inform them that the hearing date has been set and they are ready to go. And then Ridge walks in and tells them that he went to see Bill and that Bill is going to fight dirty. Then he sees the hearing papers and he glances at them. And then he tells Katie not to worry. It'll be fine. He'll make sure that Bill stays away from Will. And then he leaves again. In the side office, Liam and Wyatt are debating whether Katie is doing the right thing or not. And then they realize that they are on opposite sides. Wyatt has been subpoenaed to testify for Bill. And Liam has been subpoenaed to testify for Katie. Wyatt feels that Bill doesn't deserve to lose Will because he knows that he loves him and he has lost everything else. Liam disagrees. He thinks Katie is doing the right thing and they are at an impasse. They are not going to agree on this. So back at Bill's office, Bill is furious when Justin tells him about the hearing date. He tells Justin to start digging up anything he can find about this Judge McMullen. And Justin is not happy about this request, but he is going to do it anyway. Bill tells Justin that they're going to have to do whatever they have to do. Call in favors, whatever they have to do to win this. Because he's not going to lose Will. Now we are with Ridge. And we're at an office that we've never seen before. Quickly, we learn that Ridge is there to see Judge McMullins. And Ridge and the judge apparently go way back. Ridge loaned him the money to go to law school. And now Ridge is there to call in the favor. He asks the judge to side with Katie as a favor to him. And I was surprised because it's something Bill would do. So that brings us into Friday, September the 21st. The show opens with Ridge in the judge's office. And he's trying to convince, he's trying to convince him to side with Katie. And Judge McMullins informs Ridge that he feels very uncomfortable with this request. And that he could lose his job over this. But Ridge is desperate. So he tells the judge about what Bill did to Steffi and how horrible of a person he is and yada yada and how great Katie is. But still the judge doesn't give a definite yes or no. It's obvious that he's very conflicted. So Ridge says, okay, you didn't say no. So I hope we have an agreement. But the judge says nothing. And Ridge leaves and Judge Craig... McMullins is clearly upset. Meanwhile, in Bill's office, Justin is desperately trying to convince Bill not to tamper with the judge. They could go to jail if they get caught. Bill is clearly conflicted and undecided. And then Brooke walks in to talk to him. Justin leaves and Brooke informs Bill that she tried to get through to Katie again, but it didn't work because Katie's very stubborn. Brooke also tells Bill she is uncomfortable with these secret meetings and that she's very worried that Ridge is going to find out. And then Bill begs her to keep trying 
with Katie to keep trying to get through to Katie. And Brooke tells Bill to keep his head up and to keep fighting because he has rights too. And then she leaves. A few minutes later, Justin comes in to tell Bill that he couldn't find anything on this judge. He is squeaky clean, but he will keep looking. And at this point, poor Bill is freaking out. He's really scared that he's going to lose Will. Back at Forrester Creations, Thorne tells Katie that he wants to get married before the hearing. They ask Carter his opinion, and he says that it couldn't hurt. It depends on the judge whether it helps or not, but that it definitely wouldn't hurt. And it might help. So um, Carter leaves, and Katie and Thorne talk about it a little bit, and then Katie agrees to marry Thorne before the hearing, which obviously makes Thorne really happy. Over in the executive office, Ridge and Brooke have both just returned from, air quotes, running errands. And Brooke again tries to explain her side to Ridge. She says that she totally understands Ridge's hatred for Bill. But that it's still wrong to take his son away from him. And Ridge says the hell it is. And then Brooke notices that Ridge is acting a little strange. And Ridge secretly sends a message, a text message to the judge. And it basically just says, I hope that you make the right choice. And that's how Friday ends. Brooke is very suspicious. So, I don't know. I don't agree. I I actually agree with Brooke. I don't think that um, Ridge is doing this for the right reasons. I think he's doing this for revenge. And I think that's very clear. I don't know about Thorne. I don't really feel that Thorne is necessarily doing it for the right reasons either. I think Katie thinks she is, but I don't agree with her either. So, um, okay, my husband's waiting for me. So thanks to everyone for listening. And I will be back next week. Until then, bye guys.